E3 2021 continued with the day 2 of Xbox and Bethesda showcase and quite frankly, this was one of the best showcases of E3 2021. With that being said, here are the biggest announcements from Xbox and Bethesda showcase. Hold on to your seats, Epic Games incoming! Number 1. Starfield A new trailer for Starfield was shown which will be a single player game that will feature space travel. And apart from a cinematic style cutscene, nothing else was shown. But it was captured in engine, which means this will how the game sort of will look like. The game will be available on November 11th, 2022, and will also be available on Xbox Game Pass day one. Number two, Stalker 2. A long gameplay of Stalker 2 was shown, which looks incredibly awesome with ray tracing features all over it. The trailer basically showed what's new in Stalker 2 with some really creepy monsters and unsettling environments. The game is going to be tactical, similar to that of Stalker, and it is really promising. Stalker 2 will be coming out on April 28th, 2022, and will be available on Xbox Game Pass Day 1. Number 3 Contraband This is a brand new game from Avalanche Studios, who have made games like Rage, Mad Max, and Just Cause. This game is going to be a co op smuggler's paradise set in a fictional world of 1970s Bayan. Apart from the cinematic, nothing else was shown, so only time will tell what this game has as it comes out sometime, as there is also no release date. Number 4. Sea of Thieves – A Pirate's Life Sea of Thieves' new expansion is finally bringing the biggest pirate of them all, Jack Sparrow. Red is teaming up with Disney to bring a new original story expansion where you will go on a quest in the story including some new creatures and interesting new elements in the game that you will definitely enjoy. So in this new expansion, you don't need to be scared because you won't be going on a PvP action, rather you will be going in a single player mission. This new journey will be coming out on June 22nd. Number 5. Yakuza Like a Dragon After all the Yakuza game came into Xbox Game Pass, the only Yakuza game that isn't there yet is Yakuza Like a Dragon. But don't worry, because now you can play Yakuza Like a Dragon in Xbox Game Pass right now. Yakuza Like a Dragon is a wonderful turn-based JRPG with tons of funny moments that you can already see in the trailer. So if you haven't played any JRPGs, I think Yakuza is a great way to start. Number 6. Battlefield 2042 A brand new gameplay for Battlefield 2042 was shown and my god it looks awesome. With amazing battlefield action along with a look of how the storm will affect your game. It also shows zip lines that you will be using in the game along with quick attachments quick attachments that you will have with you to quickly swap attachments when you need them. The gameplay trailer is indeed promising and now we will have to wait to see when the open beta comes to life as this game will be coming out in October 22nd. Number 7 Halo Infinite Halo Infinite finally showcased a new trailer for campaign as well as announced that the multiplayer is going to be free to play. You will definitely be utilizing them grappling hooks with some really awesome gunfights, some new interesting modes along with everyone's favorite, Capture the Flag. One new game mode will allow you to use vehicles and use jet to fly across the map which is more like Battlefield. Halo Infinite will be available day one on Xbox Game Pass. Number 8. A Plague Tale Requiem This is the sequel to the first game, A Plague Tale Innocence and honestly it was one of my favorite games of all time. The Rat Plague is back but this time you are in a different time, basically, you have grown up. The trailer shows both of you, Amicia who was the protagonist in the first game and your brother Hugo who has the power to control rats. This will be a very interesting game and me personally, I am very much looking forward to it. Although we don't know whether Amicia will still be the protagonist in this game or will it be your brother Hugo. This game comes out sometime in 2022. Number 9. Diablo 2 Resurrected the classic Diablo 2 is coming back as a remastered version and will be coming out on 23rd September 2021. The remastered version will add better textures and overall gives a much better look. The game will also be available on Xbox Game Pass Day 1. Number 10. Replaced This is a brilliant looking pixel game which just looks marvelous. According to the game's description, discover the dark secrets of Phoenix City. This looks like it's going to be a mystery game and games like these are usually fun to play. Replace looks absolutely stunning and this game is coming out in 2022 and will be available on Xbox Game Pass Day 1. Number 11. Age of Empires 4 Age of Empires 4 gets a new gameplay trailer and it looks really really promising. But the biggest deal is that this game will be available in Xbox Game Pass Day 1 which is huge looking at how cheap Xbox Game Pass really is. Number 12. The Outer Worlds 2 
a surprise new trailer came out for Outer Worlds 2 which apparently will be a sequel to a really well made RPG game Outer Worlds. Looks like you will be exploring more of space in this RPG game along with two new expansions, Peril of Gorgon and Murder of Eridanos. Sadly there is no release date for this game and the trailer also made fun of it because they mentioned how the game is not even finished. Number 13 Forza Horizon 5 Forza Horizon is now getting its 5th installment and it is literally blowing my mind and probably everybody else's mind as this game looks hella beautiful. It looks like you can see multiple races happening at the same time and there's new ways of communication in the game as well. By the way, did I tell you how beautiful this game looks? They made sure that this game looks more realistic than Forza Horizon 4. The game is coming out this year on November 9th and will be available on Xbox Game Pass Day 1. And number 14, Redfall. This is a brand new Xbox exclusive game made by the studio that brought Prey. This looks like it's going to be a 4 player co-op game against vampires and each one of you will have different abilities. The graphics looks quite similar to Fortnite kind of but that's how far I will compare. The game will be coming out in summer 2022 and since this was just a cinematic, we don't really know how the game will actually look like. But it will be available on Xbox Game Pass Day 1. Well, these were some of the biggest announcements of Xbox and Bethesda Showcase and this tells how Xbox Game Pass is the biggest subscription that you can buy right now. If you haven't bought Xbox Game Pass, you can buy it for 3 months, the Xbox Ultimate, for only 50 rupees. And with that, you can play 100 plus video games and moreover, you can also play all of these new games that's coming out on day 1, including some of the games that is coming out next year. Let us know in the comments below which game are you looking forward to the most. If you want to ask me, I'm very much looking forward to Starfield, Stalker 2, Replaced and A Plague Tale Requiem. These were some of the games that I'm very much looking forward to but to be honest, all of the games that they just showcased, I want to play all of them. Thank you everybody for watching this video, hit that like button and definitely do not forget to subscribe to watch more videos just like this every single week.